Okay, so my name's Doug Adkins. Uh, I'm the administrator. I'm also the owner here at Dayspring Senior Living, and this is my mom, Joan. And so let me tell you a little bit about why, uh, why Dayspring Senior Living uh, ended up the way it does. So as we were kind of planning and looking at uh, how to uh, put this entire project together, uh, one of the things that occurred to me was, well, you know, we needed to have some high ceilings. Mom grew up in a place called India, and in India they had high ceilings. And so high ceilings are sort of important because they create a sense of openness and uh, are, uh, allow you to kind of feel that you're not sort of closed in. The other thing that was important that I learned from my mom was uh, nice big windows were important. I remember growing up, my mom always loved uh, nice big windows. Windows, lots of big open windows allowed you to look outside and enjoy the open spaces outside. The other thing that uh, I thought was also important were big porches, nice big porches with rocking chairs that you could relax in and enjoy the outside. <coughs> And uh, the other thing that was important to me was making sure that the facility size was uh, not too large, but not too small, and was uh, more home-like, uh, you know, more uh, intimate, and in that people had a relationship with one another. Uh, so the facility is only for licensed for 32 residents. Uh, it allows the staff to have a more personal, closer relationship with uh, the residents and uh, the, it's not a long distance to walk from one place to, the, to another. So, you know, the design is unique. It's not typical of what you'll find in a lot of other sort of corporate environments that you'll find from some of the larger companies. Uh, it's a special design and a unique design, largely influenced by some of my mom's uh, uh, ideas that she's told me over the years. And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, inspired somewhat by my father's uh, uh, experience. He had uh, congestive heart failure and he had diabetes. And one of the things that we want to try to help is uh, try to provide in a, a living environment where individuals can uh, pr receive some of that care that they need uh, who, uh, you know, deal with those kinds of conditions. So uh, my mom has uh, you know, had some influence as we were you know, working through that process and uh, making decisions about what the design of the, uh, the building might look like. So just wanted to share that with you and thought that might be uh, a way to uh, help you uh, uh, be able to see how the building came together and it came together because of the people that influenced most and the people that influenced most are our parents. So thanks for listening.